the gospel today is full of great themes, and I could go off forever on all of them. But I want to just pick up on one. He sent them off two by two. Not too long ago, I went out to dinner, and I was by myself. I felt like such a loser in the restaurant. I thought everybody was looking at me. Most uncomfortable feeling that I've ever had, eating alone. I would far prefer to go through the drive through eat in my car, nobody staring at me. Sometimes being alone is a terrible thing. And being a disciple by yourself would be very challenging. I like to think in, in my fantasy that no matter if nobody else believed in Jesus, I would still believe in him. But the reality is the fact that you believe in him is a great consolation and gives me strength because I have other people supporting me. We need one another. But it's amazing to me how many of us go through life alone, trying to be independent, trying to be diff you know, doing it on ourselves. My mother, God bless her, when she was alive, used to drive me crazy. You know why? Because you'd know that there was something wrong with her. She wasn't feeling well. But she didn't want to be a burden to me. So she wouldn't tell me what was going on. But I knew there was something going on. And in point of fact, she was more of a burden by not telling me than if she had shared it with me. I don't think that Jesus ever does anything without trying to teach us something. When I pray the Stations of the Cross, I stop at the fifth station where Simon the Cyrenian helps Jesus carry his cross. Guys, I don't think the Lord needed any help. I think he allowed Simon to help to remind us that it's okay to have other people help you through your crises. Today, we celebrate the Feast of St. Paul Miki and his companions. In the late 1500s, this Jesuit and 24 other men were killed by the Japanese, by the order of the emperor, because they refused to surrender their faith and become like everybody else. More today than ever before, we need each other. We need the support that comes from each other. There are many challenges that we face every day. And I think there's a reason why God places us together. He sent them out two by two. Why? because he knew that they would have the confidence to do what was necessary to, whenever they encountered any difficulties with the support of somebody else beside them. You're not supposed to go through life by yourself. Now, we live in America, and independence is a great thing. Everybody wants to be independent. But the reality is quite the contrary. We are dependent. We are first and foremost dependent upon God. And one of the ways in which he shows his blessings to us is by putting people in our lives to assist us, just as you assist other people. I know that when you're sick at home or when you're, you're faced with difficulties, you tend to keep them inside. You don't want to afflict anybody else with what you consider the, your personal burden. But if you really believe what I believe, you and I were baptized into Christ, and we're baptized into one body. Whatever affects one member of the body affects the entire body. So whatever affects you affects us all. And it would be best if you shared what's going on in your life with others to assist you and let people be for you what you would like to be and have been for them. Sometimes we have a false pride, and that is that we think we need to do everything ourselves. If you believe in God, then accept the blessings that he gives you. And one of the blessings he's bestowed upon you is he has placed you in a community, in a family. Family members take care of each other. Let people take care of you just as you've taken care of them. Don't try to go it alone. The disciples went out two by two. The Lord recognized and wanted them to understand that challenges that they would face would be easily borne by the knowledge that there was somebody beside them. 
let, there's a reason he places people in our lives. Instead of resisting it, why don't you embrace it? And in embracing it, you will find the ability to do things you never thought possible. Just as the disciples went out and cured many people of diseases, they did, were able to do miraculous things. But they did it because they had the support of somebody beside them. Paul Meeky, giving his life on the, uh, in martyrdom, was encouraged to do that because he wasn't alone. He had 24 other guys beside him. That gave him strength. This is what the Lord's asking of us. Let everybody help you, and you, when it's your opportunity, help them. We are in this together. Not apart, but together. And whatever affects you, affects the rest of us. And whatever affects the rest of us, affects you. That's why the church is constantly talking about being aware of the needs of people beyond Boston, in Africa, in South America, in Asia, because we're one body with one shepherd, Jesus Christ, and it's to him we give glory and honor by the way in which we live and the way in which we are gratefully receive the assistance from others. Allow people to love you. As the book of Genesis says, it's not good for people to be alone. So don't be alone. You have help. Use it.